What's up you guys? Right, that's a Matt Welty. Welcome if you get the reference. Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and if you've been watching my videos and if this is your first time, welcome. Like you can tell from the title, I have a sneaker unboxing video to do for you guys and getting things out of the way. If you're new, make sure to subscribe by smashing that red button right there. And if you already subscribed, and you keep liking my videos, maybe you can hit the bell notification. It'll tell you every time I put a video out. And like I said in my previous video, I don't really have a schedule. Okay, I think I've spent a lot of time. A lot of people give me grief for taking so much time before I get into the actual sneaker. So let's get that out of the way. Before the sneaker though, I did a bit of shopping. You know man, this lockdown's gotten me really bored. And I'm always looking for ways to feel better. So the first thing is a t-shirt by 400. A shout out to my guy Vaishak from Bangalore for helping me cop this. I'm not getting any sex. I have a lot of stress. <laughs> I have zero booze and plenty of X's. But man, this t-shirt is a flex. <laughs> and I heard now, you know, because of the lockdown and... All of that stuff, the economy is suffering and the Brooks Brothers filed for bankruptcy. So, I picked up a nice clean white shirt. It's actually more sale than white. But it's a nice button down shirt by the Brooks Brothers. Now this is a broadcloth shirt which means it's been cut from one piece of cloth. And if you guys didn't know, Brooks Brothers are the guys who invented the button down shirt and a bunch of other things. Now, like you can see in the back, I have the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner, the OG in the version 1, and I have the Static V2, which is the OG colorway. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on the Azale. Let's get that. Ooh, I need to learn some tricks on this knife. So, yeah, I was in Lonaula for the weekend uh, when this drop happened, and I was like, man, I'm gonna be hot spotting uh, the internet. I don't think I'll really score, but half an hour down the line, I managed to add this to my cart because the traffic being so obscene, let me just slice this plastic off completely. So yeah, I haven't really seen a V3 in real life. Damn, same. I haven't really seen a V3 in real life, I think. Yeah, never man, not even the Alva, not the Azale. We didn't get the Azales in India and that's the one colorway that I want. I'm hoping they do a restock like they did with the Wave Runners. This is literally gonna be the first V3 I set my eyes on and I'm gonna be doing this with you guys. Let's get the box out, 700, that's the label. Like you know, there's no boost so just the 700, no boost branding on the box. Let's slide it open. Ooh, nice, nice. Wow. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, man. Wait, wait, let me get both the, the stickers out. Yeah? And get the box out of the way. So I usually go up half a size on my Yeezys. A lot of people have been telling me that the V3s need a full size up. But there you have it. The Yeezy 700 V3 Azareth. Man, this shoe is a vibe. Is a vibe. Wow, I didn't no, but the lacing is a bungee cord. It's... Can I undo this? No, I can't. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, no, I can't. So, I slid the rubber band to the side and you have this thing that's holding the lace together. So, I guess if you need to undo the lace, you've got to cut it through. Man, I put the rubber thing back on now. Let me slip the quantum, quantum sleeve for the rubber sleeve back on. Right, that's done. I think they should come with a set of spare laces if that's the bungee cord. Yeah, here you have it, a set of spare laces. These come with your regular aglets and all of that stuff. 
so just a regular rope lace this lace is very similar to the one you get on the 500 slate it's different from the wave runner and all of that it's like a rope but like a bungee cord so very similar to the Yeezy 500 slate if you have seen the laces on them all right now for the sneaker man this is Friggin' insane. Uh, now, I don't even know where to start with this. Okay, for instance, the shape is very, very space age. It's not really chunky, like, let's compare it, right? That's the Wave Runner, and that's the version 3. You see how this one is taller and bigger, and the uh, Azareth is more sleeker. Right, and let's look at it vis-a-vis -vis the hmm, which side? Static V2. There. So you know, between the version 1 and the version 2 itself, I prefer the static V2. Like I keep saying this on most of my Instagram posts and videos that this is my favorite Yeezy of all time. 350, 700, 500 all compared. And you can see from the front itself how this is a more sharper design than the wave runner the version one which is why i love it you know i just love the way this looks on feet uh, the v2 and and I'm, I'm bummed actually that they didn't make any more colorways any nice colorways there was geode and all of that stuff tefra but nothing that really slapped like the v2 static does so this one is in a different league of its own and I'm going to admit, initially I didn't like uh, pictures of the sneaker, like when I saw the Azale as well, because I thought the front portion was too narrow and flat, like a duck's beak, you know. And then I saw the sample pictures that Kanye was tweeting, and I thought in the sample it looked a lot more well done, well put together than the final product. But now that I have it in hand, let's go through the details. So you have this icy kind of a bottom with these cutouts now the boost models would usually see the visible boost right there but this as you can tell is not boost i think it's polyurethane or something you have this big ass booty kind of a thing going on have you seen these images of the ultra boost 2021 yeah i think they're going for this booty now a lot more interesting bit is this mix of mesh and is that knit these olive heads right here they look like knit but the blue bits are all like mesh, especially this part. You can see my thumb right there, right? Like I can literally see light going through and through these parts. That's because they are translucent. And see there, you can see my thumb moving in right there. Yeah. This has a name actually, the fiber. Let me look it up. Actually monofilament engineered mesh. So right, so the mesh is apparently something called a monofilament engineered mesh. I looked around, even Seth Paolo said it in his video, but I really don't know what that is. I'm not going to feign uh, knowledge or pretend like I know. Where the sneaker has this, this black bit right here is like a booty that's been stitched on to the insides. So it's not like it runs all the way, it's just stitched around this ankle right here. So it becomes like a one piece booty construction. Therefore, you don't really use the laces. I've never really worn the laces on any of my Yeezys. They're just there to look aesthetic i guess so this bungee cord really makes no difference to me it's just that i can't have that entire flowing thing happening but on a sleek silhouette like this i guess you don't need it this sole is all white the azale i think has a sail uh midsole if i'm not mistaken and they also have the different colors for the cutouts i think the azale has like a instead of an icy it's got a blue sole and instead of yellow i think it's got I don't know really. I think it's got blue again. In this front area, you have this rubbery toga. Now this again is carried forward from all the earlier Yeezys. You know, you all have that element of the store area happening right from the Wave Runner all the way down here. Reflective hits right here, like you can tell as the light hits it. You see, reflective there, reflective there, and a random reflective here. Man, the Azareth I also hear means uh, standing apart or standing out and this blue really makes the sneaker pop. In addition, your insole is 
auto light if you can see it right there so you have your Yeezy branding the Adidas performance logo and auto light just like the static V2 the wave runners never came with uh, auto light sole and last but not the least the thing that gets people the most hyped is that this cage right here it glows in the dark yeah that's about it man like got the sneaker today I'm now gonna slip these on feet to show you how they look let me know in the comments what do you think of the v3 and which is your favorite colorway amongst the 700s I would really like to know how would you rate this on a scale of 10 but damn these are a vibe I'm gonna rock them I guess ah shit if only I knew the Azales are coming out uh, I must let you know though if you have really broad feet I would recommend going up full size rather than going up just a half size now for people with regular feet go with your regular easy 700 sizing it is kind of narrow like I showed you earlier in terms of the silhouette not chunky or broad therefore if you have really broad feet go up a full size yeah damn beautiful <laughs>